So yeah, as I was saying, after a nice long hard day at work, there's nothing... Did you hear that? I think that was my doorbell. I'll, I'll be right back, I'll be right back. A few minutes later. All right, here we go. I did get something in the mail. It was addressed to me. Here we go, let's see what it is inside here. And it is, oh, oh it's this guy right here. Venom from Hasbro's Marvel Legends. Howdy everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Country Boy, and this is What's Your Figure. And today, I literally just got this guy just now. Venom. We got Venom from Hasbro's Marvel Legends, and he looks pretty awesome. Uh, I, I've got the old Venom from a couple years ago that came out from the Retro series. This is also from the Retro series, as you can see. But this is definitely a, a different take on him. It's not the, the cel-shaded version like we got before, uh, which I'll do comparing uh, later on to show you kind of what they look like side by side. But you know what? We're here to look at this figure right here. So let's take a look at the packaging. Boom, and here we have Venom, the sinister symbiote from the Spider-Man Retro Series. Uh, in that Retro Series packaging, as you can see, celebrating 85 years, Marvel, seal of approval right there. Looking good in the packaging. Got the little image of him right there on the side. And then on the back here, you got some more of Venom right there. And then you got the blueprint uh, imaging. And then on the back, he also has a bit of a write-up. When Spider-Man breaks free from an alien symbiote, it latches onto Daily Bugle reporter Eddie Brock, who becomes the supervillain Venom, seeking revenge on the web slinger. Yes, this is a villain version of Venom, not like the anti uh, anti hero version that we see him more recently in the Venom movies and whatnot. And then a bunch of gold at the bottom there. Nothing on the top, nothing on the bottom. That's it for the packaging. Let's get inside. There's nothing else to do but to get into the packaging. All right, and here out of the packaging, we have Venom looking freaking awesome. This is probably the best Venom that I have seen, at least in hand. I know there's probably some like uh, Hot Toys version out there that's probably like the most ultimate version of Venom. This is the best version of Venom that I have seen with my eyes and my hands so far. Uh, but let's take a look at some of these accessories, which are kind of not really accessories, they're just other parts of him. Uh, so something with these hands, he's got these fisted hands, boom. Big old black punching hands. So with these fists, this guy can do some serious damage. Boom, big old fist. He's got some nice big hands. Or, you know, you know, maybe he just wants to hold you gently. He's uh, He's got big hands. He can hold you. He can be caress you. He can also do some serious fisticuffs to the face. Yeah. We got Venom. We got Venom. But he's Venom. He's got tongues out, guns out. He's going to use them. So yeah, nice looking fists. There you go, simple. And something that he does have on these hands, I don't think the other one had, is these white patches, which is, you know, uh, that's kind of where he shoots his webbing out of. That's what he's known for. He's known for having those white patches, and then boom, that's where the webbing comes out. Uh, but that's gonna do it for the fists. Let's take a look at this head. So he's got this closed mouth head, which I really do like. It's got that sinister, scary looking smile of his. He doesn't have his tongue sticking out, but he's got the awesome big white eyes. They've got the wrinkles in the brow. And the, the white, the, the teeth aren't like, like pure white I, I like that they're kind of dirty like he needs to brush his teeth a little more often you know he's got some bad hygiene i bet he's got some stinky breath too because he always has that green goop coming from his mouth and from his tongue just dripping you know that that's one thing that he's got he's got he's got to change his oral hygiene i think there's there's some wrong there's some problems there uh venom you gotta really change that up but really good really well done you got the bits of pink with the gums fantastic love the way that this head looks who knows maybe i'll even use his head for when i display this guy but here, you're here more for this guy right here. You got this awesome open mouth. That, that's wonderful. Look at that. The, the Again, with the pink and the gums and the, the yellowish white teeth. Uh, the eyes, they're not as open as these eyes right here. So you can see that he's got two different expressions going on. Awesome. And this tongue, is it's very malleable. I do like that. It's very easy to bend around if you want to. Uh, I, I, I kind of wish it was like a bendable wire, but that's probably a little hard to do with this size of, of a skinny kind of plastic. Maybe they're working on that in a future Venom or something like that. Who knows? Uh, but he looks really good. This is a really awesome looking Venom. I won't say that this looks like Venom from the TV show, but it looks like classic Venom that you think of when you think of Venom. This is the dude. Uh, but let's uh, take a look at the rest of him right here. He's got awesome paint job with the with the spider logo on the back and on the front. It connects all the way around. Really well done that way. But you are always going to lose some of that when you do move his uh, bell joint. Bell joint? Is it bell joint? So this is the butterfly joint. This, so you're going to lose some of that when you do some of the butterfly joint movements right there, as you can see. Uh, it's not a big deal. 
not like you're gonna see them from the back too much anyways uh, i mean what else can you do anyways you can't really you can't really change it you're gonna have those joints you're gonna have that that uh, paint work kind of getting messed up uh but yeah really well done and uh he doesn't have the super pointy toes uh i think that the other one had pointier toes i'm not 100 or maybe he had he might have actually had toes actually he might have not, not actually had shoes here it's like also almost like wearing shoes I gotta, I gotta double check. We'll find that out when I do a comparison later. Uh, but yeah, he looks really well done. He still has like, the, the veins going on with the arms there and really good muscles. I think maybe his muscles are maybe a little bit bigger on his legs. I could be wrong once again. But let's do some uh, articulation while we are here. He's got the awesome traps right there. So that's something I, th I think is maybe a little different is the traps. They're really big and thick and pronounced there. Uh, and he's uh, got the good head movement. That way is this way is that way is there. We go forward, back, really good. Uh, arms go up about that far and then they can swivel all the way around. I already showed you the butterfly joints forward and back. And he also has the bicep swivel right there. He's got the double jointed elbow so he can go ahead and grab his own tongue if he wants to. And then he's also got the movement of the wrist that ways and uh back and forward oh i popped it out by accident but it does have forward and backward movement it's just a little bit stiff right now you can move it forward and back quite well uh i did play with it a little bit before this and then the chest goes forward and back right there and then he also has a good swivel right there as well too and then there's also movement right there the ab crunch as well so forward and back ab crunch oh there's a good snap sound there so you know that it's uh, got a bit of a ratcheting in there and then you also got the legs go out uh, about that far so not too too far they don't drop down either i don't think but they go forward quite a ways really good forward kick and then backwards about that far and then you also got the the thigh cut at the top there you got the knees double jointed knees go up that far and then you've also got the there's no boot cut there's no boot cut so there's not going to have any movement there but you do have toe ballerina pose right there you got the movement up that ways as well too a bit of rocker as well too so that's it for articulation it's, it's actually pretty decent for a guy this big you know, I mean, I've seen, I've seen more, I've seen less. It's really well done. And this guy, he really looks like Venom when I think of Venom. But so let's do some comparing with some other figures that I might have in this line as well too. So stay tuned for that. Hey, I hope you're enjoying this video so far. Look at that guy right there. Really cool. Uh, and if you are enjoying this video, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, leave some comments down below. I am CountryBoy9 with an underscore in there somewhere. Also known as CountryBoy9er uh, on a bunch of different platforms here, TikTok, Twitter, uh, Instagram, you know, go ahead and check me out. I'm there, those places have fun liking me there as well too. But I'm also on another channel with my friends called Wasted Opinions. Go ahead and give us a like and a subscribe as well too. I talk about them all the time on there. Spider-Man, anything related to Spider-Man, go ahead and check us out. We have a blast about a whole bunch of stuff, not just Spider-Man related stuff, a bunch of other stuff too. But go ahead and check us out, we would definitely appreciate it. But for now, let's get back to Venom. So this guy is looking pretty beefy, pretty cool, pretty fun to play with. Uh, I, I am really liking that tongue. It, it really has like a texture to it that looks like a tongue. Like I, I didn't even really emphasize that very much earlier, but uh, look at that. You can actually definitely like, see the texturing on the tongue. The very pink uh, hue that it has is very tongue-like and just how long it wraps around. Really awesome. I love the way this guy looks. He's just a, just a awesome looking guy this is this is a great depiction of venom i'm happy that i have him uh but let's do some comparing of some other figures that are kind of similar in this line starting with his son here we got carnage uh so he's looking he looks like carnage this is the carnage from from last year i believe it was uh two pack of carnage and uh symbiote spider-man uh and this is this is basically kind of what i think of when i think of the cartoon version of him i could have maybe done a little bit more black i guess some people complain that there wasn't enough black work on it because he does have a lot more of a cell shaded black uh kind of filling out the the, the musculatures of him in the cartoon but you know what i think he still looks pretty good this is kind of a, a really cool looking dude and, and there is another version of him coming out this year that i know a lot of people already have um mine hasn't arrived yet so i will eventually be doing a, a review on him as well too the, the new one but this is this guy and i like him i think he still suits really well with that guy right there and so another comparison i will do is a black suit spider-man but this is the one that came out that wasn't in the two-pack this is the one that came out a couple years ago and the retro card by itself and he looks really cool i i, I wanted to compare him to this guy because it looks a lot more similar colors wise there is no uh, cell shading on him uh and he, definitely the blacks and the whites really pop uh and i would say this is definitely uh him turning into this guy it looks really awesome uh it's fantastic this is a really good depiction of both of these characters and then the last one i'm gonna throw in here is obviously the venom that i have that came out a year and a half ago maybe maybe two years ago i can't even 100 remember but this is the venom that i have from the cartoon as well too and there is definitely some reuse you can tell uh, i thought there was a lot less reuse like i thought he had toes but no he doesn't have toes he's got he's got the same feet that he has here just uh 
and you know i didn't realize he's almost got like a, like a dark bluish tone to the black parts of him this guy is pure black with white this guy's got like little it's almost like a navy blue never really realized that until now and then you got the the, the blue obviously highlights and the red highlights and he looks definitely like the cartoon series does more so than this guy so it's it's gonna be like different versions of venom however you want to kind of have them presented and they definitely reuse like the hands as well too like you can see the hands is, is definitely the same uh like clawed hands right there that hand there and this hand here so it's it's the same a lot of reuse but you know, it it works for both versions of this character, and I, I'm loving. I'm liking both tongues out like that. You know, you got you got that tongue that makes all the ladies quiver. Ooh, Venom, Venom, you dirty, dirty boy. Uh, yeah, that's that is gonna do it for my comparisons. That's gonna do it for this video. Just a quick video. I hope you liked it. Go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy it. And as always, I am Country Boy, and I put the sass in Sasparilla. But as always, be sure to let me know what you're figuring.